Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Cynthia Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, darling, let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, Scorpio, because that is how we keep up with y'all through the comments. Also, Scorpio, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio, because it does help me out a lot uh, and I always appreciate it when you do. But uh, remember to use your intuition, Scorpio, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so use the cards that resonate and take what doesn't, or leave what doesn't, rather, because it's your life to live, not mine. I believe these cards are just here to give you some food for thought, Scorpio, perspective for you to consider today, but never making the choices in your life. So let's just get into your reading now, darling, right, with all that being said. So Scorpio, I pulled an animal oracle card for you to see where you guys are currently at in your space. What's the theme of this week going to be for you? And we pulled the Dove Spirit card, number 21, equaling to 3 for numerology. So write that number down, Scorpio, to... Don't mind me as I fix my table, darling. Um, write that number down. Watch this table just collapse. Write down the number 3, Scorpio, to look up later to see how it resonates in your life. But the Dove Spirit comes in as a message of be at peace, uh, Scorpio. Uh, I kind of get this sense that this is more of like a something being like tossed over to you Scorpio almost like a, coming in as a sign you know Scorpio how some people will identify doves myself is included obviously uh, we'll see doves as like a sign from the other world the sign from spirit in whatever way whatever spirit you work with darling right um, I see this as a sign being sent to you of being like hey they're around Scorpio so if you have been looking for a sign of asking like either your guides ancestors past relative two of cups coming in here so definitely is like a past relative um something you know i feel like you're being told that they're around <laughs> eventually essentially scorpio so yeah take that as you will let's get some cards though let's get some cards for how my scorpio is doing right now in your current space let's see what's going on darling we have the death card coming in here, Scorpio. So you guys are going through a transition. Uh, what are you guys transitioning on from, right? What are you guys letting go of, Scorpio? Let's see here. You have the queen of pentacles coming in here. All right, so you're distancing yourself a little bit is so you may be focusing a little bit more on your work at this time Scorpio uh, or at the very least honing just you know becoming a little bit more reserved with your energy to tend to yourself right I am hearing almost as if like you set some goals for yourself Scorpio so now it's almost time for you to you know follow through with them to take action with them so I like this a lot for you we have the Six of Pentacles coming in here in the reverse. So this is cutting off things that have, you know, kind of felt fruitless for you, Scorpio, where you're just like, you know, this could be a situation where you're letting go of habits um, in your life, letting go of just whatever hasn't been uh, consistent, consistently adding value to your life, trying to up-level you, uh, Scorpio. Whatever's not feeding into this Queen of Pentacles for you, I see you letting go of. Right, very good energy to be in. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. A lot of you Scorpios are pulling out of something. Um, something that you guys, King of Wands as well in the reverse. Something, it feels almost as if Scorpio, you're pulling out of something that just, there's just no more passion in here. It's kind of like one of those things, I am seeing like the dead horse, so it doesn't feel like you guys have been beating a dead horse with something, Scorpio, where you're just like, all right, well, this just isn't fruitful for me anymore. Keep in mind, this could be in terms of a, you know, a social connection, Scorpio. This could be in terms of identifying a habit that you have with yourself and realizing the things that just aren't fruitful for you anymore, you know? Maybe at one point you felt extremely passionate about a specific path that you were taking spiritually or a specific, you know, creative pursuit, and now it just no longer feels like it's for you anymore you're up leveling again is i'm getting this sense but you in order for you to up level scorpio you have to you know naturally let go of some things right so i feel like the dove card being at peace is just letting you know that this is just you know the correct steps for you to be going at this time this is coming in as like an affirming message where it's like you have our blessing scorpio continue going the course that you are already taking at this time so take comfort in this message scorpio Right. So let's see what's going to be going on for you during this week, Scorpio. Let's jump into this week for you. 
another Avery card just came out for y'all. We have number three again. So really write down the number three, Scorpio. If some of y'all didn't, write down the number three, honey, because it came in twice, just as well as another bird card, the Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. So some of y'all about to be like a Beyonce of your own group, honey, Scorpio, right? <laughs> there is this sense here of where you are taking more steps of standing out a little bit more, uh, dancing to the beat of your own drum, Scorpio. Y'all already know I'm going to celebrate something like this. I I'm going to celebrate this type of energy. And because it's seemingly this number three is following you. Three is my favorite number, Scorpio, so I have a little bit of insight on it. But um, three is definitely going to be a good time for you, Scorpio, to if you do any type of ritual work, any type of, you know, anything of that nature, it'd be really potent at this time for you this week. Um, any type of uh, magical, spiritual pursuits that you have been delaying. You know, if there's been a project you're wanting to really announce or put out this is the week scorpio <clears throat> so let's get some more clarifiers darling we have the magician card coming in here what was i just saying scorpio honey i was just saying it was a good time for you to start taking more of a magical pursuit to be a little bit more assertive darling right the magician card is the one that is the master kind of looks like meat <laughs> like, like this card is i haven't used this deck too much scorpio but i was just like look here just like honey hold up here no um yeah the magician card is all about that creation really about you know again all about that metaphysical bringing you know doing those rituals to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to manifest uh at this time scorpio and i do feel like this is a situation where it's leaning into something a little bit new for you especially since it's singing your own song you probably are going to be uh experiencing a little bit more uh vulnerability which makes me happy because it shows to me that you're a little you're you're listening to the readings right from what i said from you for you last week scorpio but it's showing to me more of a comfort that a scorpio is starting to have with themselves and that now they're unapologetically starting to show a little bit more of their light right um and almost capitalizing off of it right letting it expound it's not just like a scorpio dipping their toes in something seeing how it feels it, it almost adds into a bigger picture on something I feel, especially because it's the magician that steps forward in this way. So let's see these clarifiers. I haven't even looked. We have the chariot card in the reverse, the justice card in the reverse, and the fool card in the reverse coming in for you, uh, Scorpio. So this is what was your issue, darling. As I was saying, straight up insecurity. The fool card, I'm gonna just hold these cards upright so you can see the artwork of them, honey. Uh, but the fool card shows to me that you are being resistant towards going into this new chapter. And that's been the blockage that you've been experiencing as the chariot card right it's almost as if scorpio you've been trying to find any which way of going around or overcoming this blockage in your life you know starting your next chapter without having to um address the things that actually have been making you out of balance scorpio so what do i mean by this what i mean by this is this sense of where it's just like you know for some of you scorpios let's just say that you've always wanted to you wanted to always be a writer right but for some reason you associate you know you wanted to reach some type of goal first before um you put out your writings right you're just like oh well i want to have um this many supporters before i like actually start publishing my work right so um and so you haven't been wanting to create anything further until then right because you're wanting that positive affirmation darling from a bunch of outside sources and so it's one of those situations where it's like you're stuck in this phase where you're not really growing scorpio because you're so resistant to that and it's just really the moments that you embrace realizing that you're just gonna have to put out your work anyways right you're gonna have to make yourself more vulnerable you know you have to risk it for the biscuit darling right and i feel like you guys kind of have just come to terms with the fact scorpio of that of the things that you you know there's no other way around this right you have to go through it you have to overcome these insecurities these things in yourself that has been sitting with you for a while right it's finally the time for you to address the issue <laughs> i feel drawn to call a couple more two of swords so this, yeah you guys have been at this crossroads in the world card it's all about cycles scorpio <clears throat> all about cycles this repetitive cycle for you guys are aware i really do feel sometime this week you're going to be presented with the opportunity scorpio of really finally breaking free from a, some type of cycle that's been going on for oh, quite a while in your life, right? And I do just get this feeling, right? It's through you breaking this cycle that 
Eight of Wands comes in. Yeah, movement happens. This is a card of empowerment. This is a card of, um, you know, just feeling very sure of yourself and just like the journey that's ahead of you, Scorpio. So yeah, I do feel like this is the proper steps that you are um, going on now. It's just really addressing the things that you've been keeping yourself back from. Um, so you can finally start allowing yourself really to live your life without always having like this voice in the back of your head haunting you and just being like oh you know you're 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 done waiting for the perfect moment scorpio and you've realized that the perfect moment is now <laughs> essentially so let's see how this week ends out for you scorpio we have the elephant spirit seven learn from the past coming in here so this is definitely just going to be a self very self-reflective week i really do feel like this is going to be an impactful week for you scorpios in the sense of you guys finally getting like the aha moment of like what's been like the the you finally have identified like the needle in the haystack of what's been going on in your life and like what's been causing like this imbalance right and it finally seems like you found the answer to something three of cups celebration victory yes you did scorpio you guys have finally figured out like fin you finally found like that final puzzle piece that you needed to complete your puzzle and to really get the ball glowing with a lot of other things in your life the three of cups is the card of celebration scorpio right so this is really a time of celebration this is a cause for celebration scorpio i really am so happy for you in this way you guys have finally identified it and now you guys are finally able to go into the next step of your journey five of swords coming in here in the reverse why is this here as well as the ten of swords coming in in the reverse Ooh, so this comes in as a sense of closure for you scorpios this comes in as a sense of like a lot of healing through communication being done page of pentacles some of you guys are going to be talking having some con tough conversations with things that have hurt you in the past or really coming to terms with and facing like these things that have been almost haunting you for a while, Scorpio. It's almost like you guys are going to be having this week some tough conversations that you have been really biting your tongue about. Um, and all, all of this leads to just a lot of healing, Scorpio. Page of Pentacles with all of this, Ten of Swords being inverted makes this extremely powerful. I really want to say, Scorpio, that it seems to be like... You guys are just... By the end of this week, it's you guys are going to be exhausted emotionally, I would say, but you're going to feel so good about everything. You're going to feel exhausted because you're going to have a lot like this is finally like the boiling point. It feels like for a lot of aspects in your life coming to its point, right? But it's just going to be by the end of this week, you're going to be exhausted, but just feel so, so content with where you are. All right, now Scorpio. So let's get into your social situations this week. What's going on for my Scorpios and their <clears throat> social situation? We have the giraffe spirit trying to come out again for you, Scorpio. So the giraffe spirit's coming in is where you're seeing a, a bigger picture on something. You're having greater perspective with some type of situ social situation in your life. Let's see what this is about, uh, Scorpio, with this giraffe spirit. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice, honey. I don't know if it's allergies or what. Let's see what's going on. What are you seeing the bigger picture about, Scorpio? So... We have the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, as well as the Five of Cups in the reverse. So it's almost this sense of where Scorpio, you're able to identify where someone hasn't been able to move on from something. This could be you. This could be the other person, Scorpio. You've almost identified that, you know, with this Five of Cups in the reverse, there's been this sense of not being able to move on from a certain situation that's happened. Um, I don't, you know, and so that's been like the main issue going on here. Eight of Swords, King of Cups, that's what's been keeping this situation probably at a little bit of a staleness scorpio it almost feels as if like because of this elephant in the room that no one's really talking about no one's really addressing the, it doesn't allow for any more closer communication and so you guys are kind of at this you know i would even say like a little bit of a crossroads uh scorpio with how to handle this connection because it's just like well how are we going to handle this five of cups right are we going to talk about it I want, obviously, the optimistic part, part in me, Scorpio, wants to say, yes, you guys are going to talk about it because we have that Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in the reverse, and that Five of Swords in the reverse. That all talks about, like, talking about, like, having some tough conversation that brings in healing, but it's really painful conversation. It's one of those things where it's just, like, 
uh, feelings are going to be hurt, you know, but, you know, if all parties are able, are coming at this from a place of wanting to develop further Scorpio, to want to become closer, not coming from a place of pointing fingers and just trying to set blame on things, I see it to be extremely healing uh, for you, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles, because yeah, you guys have put so much time, and you both probably have put so much time and energy in, in, in each other. This is kind of a message where it's just like, all right, how bad do both do both sides want this, right? Do both sides acknowledge and value the amount of energy that has been put into the situation, right? Do we continue nurturing this garden or do we uh, actually choose to weed it out, right? So now, Scorpio, let's get into your financial and career this week. What's going on financially for my Scorpios this week in July? Let's see here. Parking sliding out, honey. The starfish spirit number five in numerology 59 infinite possibilities, open to infinite possibilities. <clears throat> so, very powerful energy to be in right now, Scorpio. Um, this is a energy of where you know it, it feels almost as if, uh, Scorpio, as you again, just because of your general portion of your reading, some of you guys are really stepping into this Queen of Pentacles state of being of where by again letting go of your vulnerabilities you're seeing like the world is just like your oyster almost right the sense of where you can just do so much because of this newfound freedom that you develop scorpio that we talked about in your general portion right so let's see let's get a little bit more detail we have i want to get three together so we have the Six of Swords, the Seven of Cups inverted with the Wheel of Fortune inverted for you. So, so I would say this is opening up for you, like, possibilities really start opening up for you, Scorpio, the moment when uh, you stop. I kind of want to get a couple more cards for the Seven of Cups inverted. We have the Strength card in the reverse, as well as the Ten of Wands. All right, Scorpio, directly, you need to, you guys need to focus more so on your social situations and whatever is creating some baggage, whatever you need to be doing some shadow work on, because this has been, this Ten of Wands is what's been weighing heavy on your mind. Until you have that uncomfortable conversation that we touched on, Scorpio, in that social situation, I don't really see your career situation really opening up too much of financial. Strength card coming in the reverse, showing, again, this sense of need to do you know no longer resisting this six of swords coming in in the upright shows to me until you make that transition until you tie up those loose ends scorpio and really address the problems seven of cups comes in in the inverted with the wheel of fortune inverted where it's just like you're not really going to be able to make a decision you won't be able to make any type of decision because you still have this other distraction going on i feel like you need to take care of your distractions outside of your work life first scorpio before you start investing more energy into your work life um, and then i feel like that's when you'll be a lot more happier with the results of what happens so now scorpio let's end your weekly reading for july darling let's see what's going on let's see what positive affirmation that we can take darling what positive affirmation let's quote honey can my scorpios take with them this week through pair say it now through prayer and meditation scorpio i create a ripple effect of peace in the world so this is really about a week of setting intention scorpio think about even when it comes to putting this energy into you speaking having those tough conversations this week through you even in your work life through any, every aspect that you're doing this week ask yourself what you're hoping to accomplish through this conversation through this engagement through this exchange of energy set the intent for what you would like to have happen best case scenario Scenario, right because the possibilities are endless for you Scorpio and what can open up for you and really the only barriers is more so just in your own mindset and your own perception on things Scorpio so definitely remind yourself that you are the creator of your own universe that's why the magician card stepped forward for you this week Scorpio so I'm going to read it off one more time through prayer and meditation I create a ripple effect of peace in the world all right, now, Scorpio, thank you so much for allowing me to do this weekly reading for you in July. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my website is simplyvalka.com. I leave it down linked below, along with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Everything is just Simply Velka, uh, Scorpio. So if you, uh, hopefully, I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Again, Scorpio. But until next time, I love you so much.